Hey Siri, play some Travis Scott. Which app would you like to use? What's going on guys, it's your boy Shivon here back with another video and finally, finally, Apple is starting to like listen, open up, be more free. I remember days would have to jailbreak in order to get features like this. So finally, Apple allows us to use Siri to control Spotify without have to be saying, hey Siri, play blah 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 on Spotify. We could just set Spotify as a default music player on our iOS device. Now, this is currently working on iOS 14.5 beta or i think 14.5 is out as well but a lot of people are saying hey this has been working for me in is 14.1 so in this video i'm just going to show you guys how this works and also show you what will happen on a device that's running like is 14.3 but before we start i want to give a huge thanks to today's sponsor nordpass now if you're like me and you always forget your passwords or you're tired of clicking the reset my password button then you should check out today's sponsor nordpass nordpass gets rid of all the fuss around password it auto fills forms remembers an unlimited number of passwords and even generates complex ones for you so don't be that person that uses the same password for everything because it's not safe nordpass also recognizes suspicious websites so you don't accidentally reveal your sensitive information and you can stay safe online now today you can get 50 percent off nordpass at www nordpass.com backslash Siobhan or you could use my code Siobhan at checkout. Alright guys so this is my iPhone 12 Pro right here running iOS 14.5 beta so if we go to general about you can see that we're on iOS 14.5 beta and right now I won't say hey because I don't want to trigger anyone's devices so I'm just gonna hold a power button but basically if I hold the power button play pop smoke you can see that it asks us which app would you like to use and this will only show up for the first time as of now i don't see any way that we could go into spotify app itself and set as a default music player so this is how we'll be able to add this as our default music player so you want to hit spotify and it says now playing pop smoke on spotify all right so yeah that's basically how it works and if you want to skip you could just say next track and there you go it skips to the next track so yeah it works perfectly fine now let's jump on over to my ios 14.3 iphone 11 and see what that works like all right guys so now we're on the iphone 11 go to software about you can see that we're on actually 14.4 so let's see if this actually works all right we're gonna ask siri to play some song on spotify all right without saying play on spotify okay Play Pop Smoke. Okay. I didn't find Pop Smoke on Apple Music. So as you can see, it was searching in for Apple Music and it doesn't even give us the option to set it as a default music player, just like how we got that option on iOS 14.5. But if you're on something lower than 14.5, you have to ha add that magic word, which is play on Spotify. So this is what you have to do if you're on an older version, lower than iOS 14.5. Play Pop Smoke on Spotify. And you see, it could start playing on Spotify. Now that's the downfall. And the, the thing that I hated the most about iOS that because I'm a main, I'm a heavy Spotify user, every time I need to skip a track or do something, I have to say on Spotify, on Spotify. It was just super annoying, but now Apple finally fixed it. All right, so that's it for today's video. If you guys enjoyed, don't forget to subscribe, drop a like, and turn on the post notifications, road to 100K. But yeah, I'm just really excited that Apple is actually, as I said before, opening up their services. They did this with our search engine. We could choose a default search engine. We could choose a default email client. Now we could have a default music player client. And that's just really great from Apple because when it comes to Apple, they always like skimp out on Spotify. So I love to see all the new Spotify integrations. Even if you have an Apple Watch, this works with the Apple Watch as well, which is great. So hopefully you guys put this to good use. If you're a Spotify user or Apple user, let me know down below. I'm on team Spotify, choose your team. 
by hitting that like button in the comments. As always guys, love, peace, and tweaks. Signing out.